What's up guys and gals, welcome to the Nerdcast for the next episode of the Master Plan by Shark Punch Studios. I probably am going to upload this shortly after the first episode because it was only like 10 minutes long. That was due to like technical restraints on my end. My inability to record the game, like basically recording software does not like this game. I just want to follow up one more time by saying it's not the game's fault. It's just early access games and recording softwares do not mix because they tap into codecs that may or may not be streamlined inside the game yet. The game functions perfectly fine if you're playing it and not recording it. It doesn't crash or anything. It's only when you're recording that it crashes so I blame the recording software not the game today we're gonna to be taking a look at the mini mont mission so let's go ahead and start that on up all right so the Rob's mini mont it's funny because it's named Rob's mini mart and then we're going to rob it that's that's humorous I see what they have done there with the naming of the location where this crime is going to take place so the objective safe in the back room the Intel that we have collected thus far through our line of snitches and informants tells us that the clerk carries a red key for the back room the clerk apparently has like bladder problems or something because he's always got to take a piss i don't know why he's always in the back taking a piss secondly we have customers that may call the cops and if the cops show up shit's gonna get real real fast so let's go ahead and start the mission oh we have three people on this one okay so we've got joey melissa and kramer that's pretty dope i'm actually really stoked about this let's look for back doors first do they all have guns it appears as though they are all strapped, it looks like, I think. Okay, so them being all strapped, we've also got what look like security cameras here, which are probably controlled from right there. I think the security cameras just increase where they can view things, though. So I'm going to take people into the store right now. The, the phone from where they can call the police. A, I know most kids nowadays aren't going to know what this is, but this is a toll phone. It's a phone that you can make phone calls from with, like, quarters and shit. We had these when I was a kid, and then... They just kind of vanished over the last five years with the advent of cell phones. I feel like the payphone business kind of went through hard times. So what we want to do right now is we actually want to keep these guys. Let's go ahead and assemble ourselves so that we can point guns at everybody in the location if we have to. I'm going to have a gun. Let's go ahead and put him right here. So Joey's going to be there. I would prefer that we not have to deal with more than two points of... I think this is about... Actually, I think Melissa can get them all right now. So I'm going to have her pull a gun. Joey, I need you to pull a gun. There we go. So we got guns on everybody. All of our guns are now out. But it's... Oh, shit. Okay, so it looks like we've got another guy who's coming in. And I'm in front of a window right now doing a holdup. So what we need right now is I sincerely need everybody to gather up over here. So I'm going to point a gun at him in slow-mo. We're actually going to see if this works. Oh, there you go. Shoot him through the window. Do what you got to do. And so I'm actually going to command this guy to do my bidding. Because he's actually quite good at eBay. And so... Oh, he's going to step through the broken... Oh, we have another one over here. Damn it. Okay, so we have so many civilians that we've got to corral. Wow. Okay, so we've got a lot of these guys. Let's go ahead and we're going to tell him to go over here. We're also going to tell him to go over here, I guess. Actually, let's have him go over here. We're going to have Melissa set up right here. And so he's already controlled. We're going to send them all up over here. How many more civilians are there going to be? God, we have so many people to keep guns on. Kramer, get over here. Start working people. Start working people one by one. I should take them all into the back room just so it's less suspicious. But... In fact, yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to have these guys transition. Hold on. You guys go back right there. All of you mooks. Go into the back room. And let's keep guns on them. Let's make sure that we keep a gun on them no matter what. I need you guys to be sure that you can keep a gun on them. And so we're going to follow them too just in case. And what I want from you is you're actually going to follow them in. And Joey, I sincerely need, like, over here because they're actually getting quite antsy in the pantsy and trying to run off on me right now. There we go. And so we got everybody in the back room. And so what I need to do now... God, this room is so crowded. I'm going to put the gun away. I'm just going to knock everybody out in the back, to be honest. And so there it is. 
We're gonna have Kramer. He doesn't have a gun right now. Some guy got shot. That kind of sucks for him. But you know what? You do what you gotta do. You gotta scare people into submission sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta let somebody know that they're on notice. And so I'm actually gonna knock all these guys out in the back. Apparently everybody in this town carries one dollar around with them. I suppose it's the 1970s, so like shit's cheaper. Like a dollar went a lot farther back then than it does now. And so having knocked out everybody in the back room, let's go ahead and we're gonna grab all the dollar bills. There it is. No, I don't want to pick up bodies. I just want the cash. Grab as much cash as you can. Hey, pick up that dollar bill. Okay, shotgun ammo. What is this? She's got $126 right now. Let's have her pick up the key. Joey, you keep watch on the back room just in case they wake up. You never know. And so Melissa's going to go back here. What does this gray key do? She's going to unlock that. She's going to grab the money out of the safe. Does it disable... Can we disable the secure? Oh, it probably opens that. Okay, so things to think about here. So Melissa's got this down. Melissa, I can't select you right now because there's too much money laying in piles all around you. Oh, Christ. Do we have another one coming in? Get out from behind the counter, dude. And we're going to wait and see what he does. Get a gun on him. Bring him back up and over here. And let's have Melissa come out. And we'll have Melissa pimp slap the shit out of him so that he doesn't get his, like, give us any trouble. I'm going to unpause the game for a second. Actually, go in the back room. You're coming with me. Keep a gun on him, though, just in case he decides to pull a runner. I can't be having that. And then knock him out. Okay, so he's been knocked out. I don't know how many more guys there are going to be who like need to be dealt with. Oh my god, there are civilians everywhere. So let's go ahead and put the guns away. And I think it's time for us to get the hell out of here. Let's go ahead and bounce. I don't think any of these guys are actually going to like know what's going on. And so let's just jump in the car and we'll get the hell out of here. Come on, get in the car. Cops are going to show up soon. Did I forget anything? Everything looks okay. You can get people back out of the car just in case you were wondering. Looks like we're good. Let's bounce. Fantastic. We managed to make it out of here with the heist successful, although we missed out on $7. I'm going to assume that that's from... I'm going to assume that that's from, like, just civilians that hadn't been spawned yet or something of that nature. That seems to be all right. And so now that leads us to unknown territory. This is about the farthest I've ever played. So I think we're going to go for the jewelry store next. It's going to cost us a dollar to unlock it. And so let's go ahead and heist it. And so we've paid a dollar. Cheapest heist ever. The bribes get cheaper and cheaper as time goes along. I don't know. A dollar, like I said, a dollar went a lot farther in 1970. Let's say 1972 than it does. Actually, looking at the way they're dressed, it's probably like 1978 or something would be my guess. If I really had to throw a year out there, just like an arbitrary year that we had to abide by, that's the one that I would go with. So there are two saves in the staff-only area. The store is open for customers. The guards have keys, and customers might call the cops. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look here. We need to case the joint first. So this side, we could conceivably kick in a window and come in through there. I don't know whether that plan would be a good idea or not. So we got the front door right there. We've got a cash register. We've got a staff only area. I'm assuming that the staff only area is like a good way to get ourselves in trouble. How much ammo do we have right now? Like, do we have a lot? Oh, 40 bullets. Okay, so we can definitely... We can do a little bit of the old bang bang shooty shooty. We can get our Jesse James on if we want to, although not the ending of Jesse James. Like, the middle part of Jesse James. The ending of Jesse James' life is actually kind of embarrassing considering how much of a badass he was. So anyways, got caught slipping. Got caught slipping. We need to figure out a way to corral. Do the guards have guns? Or are they just like normal flashlight rent cops This is something that I'm not sure of. That is a huge toilet. That is an enormous toilet. Like, your ass circumference, your anal circumference would have to be enormous to actually properly make use of that toilet. Let's go ahead, and I'm just going to have people stand around. So let's go ahead, and we'll all pick corners here. The guards seem to be interested, like, in stuff and things. We've got to figure out how we're going to get everybody under control. So there's three people out here. There's that guy right there. Let's go ahead and turn Kramer around right now. 
so that he can cover the front desk if need be. I don't know how many people are going to come in from the outside either, so that's something we're going to have to keep watch on. Melissa's going to be facing like that. Joey's going to be facing like that. And now we've just sort of got to wait for everything to be in the proper spot that we want. Basically, we just want to corral a whole bunch of people simultaneously. Let me grab Kramer here. I'm going to set him up behind this wall. Does the guard get suspicious if we don't walk around? Like, I don't get, like, his little red vision thing. I don't see a bar or anything increasing, so I'm guessing it might be in place for a new system later on. Oh, there's another guard over here, too. Okay. So let's go ahead and stay on the move right now. I'm going to have Kramer watch the front door, though, just in case. So what I'm interested in right now is let's take up positions. Oh, there's another staff guard right there. Okay. So there's another problem. We've got a number of issues right now that all need to be dealt with. And I don't think Kramer can watch the entire front by himself. So basically, if this goes wrong... Hmm. People are not where I would like them to be at the moment. Let's go ahead and I'm going to have Kramer come over here too. I think he may just follow you around. I'm not even sure if... I think he might just follow characters around. If, if you're wondering why it's taking me so long to pull the trigger on this, I'm trying to make sure that I understand how the systems function first. There so, this is the busiest jewelry store ever. Like, there are so many people in here. Every time I've ever gone to a jewelry store for, like, an anniversary present or whatever, there's, like, two people in the store because nobody goes in a jewelry store unless they're looking to spend money. And most people don't like spending large amounts of money in one sitting unless it's, like, for a really, really special occasion. And so that really kind of limits your audience, like, the amount of people that will actually be inside your store. I guess we could have a lot of looky lose today, but God. Do I have all the guards right now? One, two, no, there's a guard right there. Okay. So once these people turn around, I may attempt something sneaky. There we go. Okay, unlock the door. Unlock the door. Go. Go, 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 go. Alright, go in. Where's that guard at? Everybody in. Make a move. Oh, we got another guard over there, too. Okay. So keep him locked down. Keep him locked down. I need you to handle this right now. And so, unfortunately, there's no way for me... I think I can change facing somehow. But as of right now, there's no way to change facing as far as I know. Okay, so there we go. Now I've got everybody facing properly means that I can take a minute. I should have relocked that back there, shouldn't I? Oh well. Let's go ahead and knock him out, just in case. Luckily, they don't appear to have, like, radios or anything, so that's good. That's a plus. That guard doesn't sound like he actually has the key to get out of his own room, which is slightly embarrassing. They trust him to watch the cameras, but they don't trust him with a key. Like, oh, I'm gonna need a key holder. I think there's a robbery going on. I'm gonna need a key holder to the back room. All right, and so we're gonna roll in. No, let's lock this door first so that nobody can come visit us in the back. There we go. Okay, so that door is locked. Looks like we got somebody else coming through the back though, the clerk. Okay, so we gotta watch out for the clerk. We got two bodies right now that need to be accounted for. We could technically offload them in the bathroom. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and move bodies around for right now. We've got a little bit of time. Mm, we got a little bit of time to play with, and I think we're gonna be alright. Alright, so body number one. I'm gonna have them cover these doors just in case anybody comes through. As far as I can tell, it takes us two people in order to hold up a guard. Drop the body right there in the turlet. Mm, dropping bodies in the turlet. And then we'll pick up this guy right here because Melissa's a looker, no joke. She's a pickup artist. She is a real female predator. Like, she's a man-eater. She's hardcore. You better watch out. She'll come get your shit. And then she'll lay them down right there. Okay, we can't lock this door just yet. 
But what we can do is let's unlock this. And then I think we're going to storm through here like it's 1936. Okay, so we got this guard held up. Knock out the guard. So somebody just shouted. I think that's what the red is. I don't think anybody's suspicious yet, though. Ah, well. It could have gone worse, but it could have gone better. What are you going to do? So we got a red key over here. We got $50. Let's pick up this body. It's the facing right now. Like, you can't click and then face people. Like, you can kind of go... Well, can you plot out? Like, so if I, like, shift click? Oh, okay, so I can shift click. All right, I've got it figured out now. That might smooth things over for a bit. So I want you to go over here, and then once you're at that point, can I command him to do something? I can't give him an order once he's in there, though. Okay. So drop the body right there. We've got all the bodies accounted for. All the doors have been searched. We've got 150 bucks so far. No, 100 bucks so far. We've got a red key and an orange key. We can get in to grab the safe right now, so that's a plus. The only thing that it comes down to is whether or not we get greedy. And I think that's the difference between, like, a professional criminal and an amateur is whether or not they get greedy or if they keep their eye on the prize. I don't know why it still says zzz right there even though I moved the body. I suppose the floor is sleeping. This floor had enough. It's had a lot of rough weeks. Let's go ahead and open up the safes. Hell yeah. So we've got diamonds and wads of cash. Okay. Everybody get it. Okay. And I think the heist is done. We're almost out of here. I think we've got a few more things that we need to take care of. Let's go ahead and we're going to check the security cameras right now because the security cameras actually allow us to look through the cameras and see where everybody's at. And so you see right there how everybody appeared. That allows us to see the layout. I'm going to have them both put guns away. And I'm going to have Joey open the door. Not all the way. He's just going to unlock it. And then when we've got an opening... He's in a camera blind spot right now, unfortunately. So we're going to wait for it. I think this isn't marked as a staff-only area, so I'm not sure if I'll get in trouble for coming out of here. There's a guard coming this way. If you were saying, go right now, that would have been bad plan because there's a guard right there. I saw him coming this way. We may actually have better luck coming out through this door. Oh, the guard's actually coming in to check. All right, let's hold him up. Kramer, get back over here. Got another guard that needs to be knocked the hell out. Knuckle sandwich, medium spicy. Stop, you're punching Melissa, you imbecile. Oh, shit. So, apparently, Melissa just lost her shit and just blasted dude in the face. Let's go ahead and we are going to... I think it's time to go. Let's rock. Make sure that guard doesn't get totally out of line here. Hey, you bet don't shoot. Kramer, what I need from you right now is just to cover them. Alright, so they're covered. We apparently killed a guard on accident. I didn't mean to do that. He's got the key for the front desk, but... Okay, so where do I want everybody right now? You know what? Everybody go in the back. Crowd control.
little further. All right, everybody have a hug in. And then we need red key over here. Lock the door. Why are you walking over there, you idiot? No, I want him to face that way. So that we no longer have problems with our prisoners. There we go. So let's put his gun away. We're going to start working these guys one by one. God. That went horribly. Let him come back over here. We'll point a gun at him. We're going to knock him out while we wait. I'm amazed that we haven't been caught yet. I'm really honest. Like, the police should have been here after the gunshot. He shouldn't be able to get in here and see what we're doing. It shouldn't matter. Just saying. So we've got the money right now. We really, really, really need to get the hell out of here. The pathfinding leaves a little bit to be desired, but... Alright, out we go. We could steal everything. I'm just saying. We could get out of here with everything if we wanted to. Well, let's walk straight out the front door. How nobody heard that gunshot, I'm not really sure. I think that we got a freebie right there. I think we very much got a freebie. It was an accident, too. I'm not sure why. I think I may have accidentally clicked the guard with Melissa or something. Not really sure what happened, but everybody get in the vehicle. Let's just get out of here. I don't care about getting a perfect mission. I just want to get away with, like, $9,000. All right, so now we drive. No! And so, because we got a body count, we've actually got to take a 50% body count penalty. That's brutal. Okay. So I guess that sort of whacks us off the list. Next up, we have the warehouse. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Master Plan. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. And as always, hi-do.